Machine monitoring with Datanomics. Let's talk about machine monitoring, its significance, its importance, the amount of free time that it gives you knowing the data that was collected the day before, the week before, the month before, having that coffee hour in the morning going, hey, we know exactly what's going on now without it having to actually be in theory. But as I always tell you guys, I bring the experts with me and this is Craig today and we are going to talk a bit more about Datanomics and how it's been implemented at Arch Seabrook here in New Hampshire. So Craig, thank you so much for being a part of MTD. Hey Tony, thank you so much for having me on today. It's great to have you here. Oh, it's great to be here, my friend. So I'm looking around. I see a lot of really incredible machines here. I know Arch Seabrook is across the country as well. You've decided to implement machine monitoring here, but if we can go back, you actually implemented it a few years before that and now transferred into Datanomics. The reason I bring that up is because I'd like to know what your original intentions were with machine monitoring, and let's start there. All right, yeah, so, um, you know, as you said, Tony, we benchmarked a bunch of different companies a few years ago, uh, made a decision to go with, um, you know, the one that we chose, the one that performed the best at the time, um, had a good team here to set a uh, strong foundation of, uh, you know, expectations and kind of what we're trying to get out of it. At the end of the day, we're really just trying to see how we're performing, um, not looking at any individual or anything like that kind of system really helps us learn those those things that we didn't know or we assumed that we thought we knew, but hey, the, the data shows something completely different. Throughout the years, you've been practicing with machine monitoring and you moved into Datanomics. What has Datanomics brought you here at Arch Seabrook? Yeah, so one of the things that we really love about Datanomics is the ease at what we can get the data. Um, it's right there kind of staring us in the face in the morning. We're not going through anything digging. Um, the supervisors that are using the data, it just shows up at their daily uh, coffee cup report. Um, they can look at it, get a quick overview of what the day was before. It's also tracking job performance, which is really important for us on the quoting side of things as well. So if we're quoting a similar product, we know what the historical averages are and everything, right? So instead of saying, oh, this feels like a 15 minute part, we know it's a 14 minute and 30 second part, and we can plan accordingly. Would you say, or could you have a number that goes along with quoting of what you might be saving at this point thanks to something like Datanomics, the, the ability to know for sure the amount of time it takes to make a part, the amount of cost it takes to make a part? Because we were always guessing historically, right? Correct. So historically, we were using um, what our um, job routers would say or something like that, which could have some inaccuracies in it. Um, I'd say our quoting probably got about 10 to 15% more accurate. Um, for parts that we have Datanomics data on um, because we're capturing everything. We're not only are we capturing the machine runtime, but we're also capturing our throughput, um, which at the end of the day is what's the most important thing to know. So it kind of seems like this software pays for itself with the amount of money being saved just on quoting, but let's talk about time savings, right? We're all jumping into a more automated system. I'm looking at a bar feed right now. I know you have Matt Sura pallet chain systems. We're keeping those machines running. How much time do you feel like you save by not running around the shop floor, talking to individual people on each machine and having all of that information in one spot? Yeah, I would say easily an hour a day per supervisor that's using it, right? Because they would be going out to all the affected machining centers and kind of maybe talking with the guys. Um, what this helps us do is it really narrows our focus down. So we can see what ran well. We are glad it ran well, but we don't need to dig into it any further, right? Let's really take our time and focus on the problems and the one, the problem children, per se. Um, the ones that, you know, might need a little more work or need a little more engineering support. You know, we can dig in and really get those details. And if something does go wrong, and let's knock on wood to say that, <laughs> but if something does go wrong, how quickly do you know what's happened and you can, you know, kind of get it back up to speed again? Yeah, and one of the great things about Datanomics is it's capturing our alarms as well. So um, a lot of time we're running these things unattended without anybody here. Um, most of the supervisors or leads will have a data dynamic screen up on their computer and they'll be able to see when an alarm happens. So whether it be a tool broke or a pallet changer needs more parts um, or any other kind of thing that can happen while we're manufacturing, um, that really gives us the ability to kind of jump on the, the uh, and solve the issue right away. Everyone finds value in the software, right? Yeah, and you know, honestly, the you know, kudos to the guys that kind of jumped on on our pilot. Um, they really embrace it with open arms. So we just want to see how we're performing and how we can get better at the end of the day. The guys know that. Sometimes there'll even be little competitions within the group to see who can do better, but it's all in fun, right? At the end of the day, we just want to make sure that we're, we're making the parts that we need to make with you know, the best quality and 
delivery, and this all helps us do that. They kind of say that about competition sometimes, right? If it's good competition like what we're talking about here, we do all get better as people and as a company to get the right parts out, to get the products out on time. And you can kind of look at each other and go, hey, I'm doing better <laughs> than you today. And That's right. Next week, it kind of goes a little differently. Yeah. Well, Craig, I do appreciate your time today. I know you're busy. And if we're going to talk about Arch real quick to know 100% American manufacturing, let's take a quick second to talk about Arch before we close this out. Sure. So Arch is a um, you know American-based manufacturing company. We have places all over the United States. Um, two divisions, actually. One for medical solutions, which focuses on medical parts. Um, the other is actually cutting tools. So that brings a great synergy because we use cutting tools in our facility every day, right? So uh, kind of having that broad team um, you know, with a large footprint here is, has been phenomenal for us. And we just hope to continue to see it grow. Well, Craig, I really appreciate it. On behalf of MTD, we wish you continued success and continued growth. If there's anything we can do for you, please let us know. For everyone watching, I hope you've learned more about datanomics and machine monitoring today just like I have. Something really significant and profound, worth taking a look at if you haven't already. And the machine shop size, it can be small, medium, or large where you can start implementing this. So give these guys a look. It's www.datanomics.io. Thank you all for watching MTD, and we'll see you again soon.